Hey, what is going on everybody? I uh, just hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to do a quick video today to show you guys how to set up the stop collar. What the stop collar is used for, it's used to prevent scratches on your blade when sharpening. Just say that you were sharpening and you slid up onto the side of the blade with the stone carrying the stone. You can get some pretty nasty scratches on the side of your blade. And what to look for to see if that's happening to you is you'll have vertical scratches going down from spine to edge like this that look pretty uniform and more than likely what's happening is you're sliding that stone carrier up on the side of the blade. The stop collar will completely prevent you from being able to do that. How to set it up is you get an o-ring and of course you get the stop collar. You'll take the stop collar itself, you'll want to loosen the tension nut up on it, you'll slide it down onto the uh, guide rod here and you'll want to leave it loose you'll take your o-ring and you'll slide it down and you'll leave it about halfway or so the o-ring is used uh, more or less as a depth gauge that way that you can set up how far that uh, you want to set up the stop collar uh, that way that you don't have this stone going up on the side of the blade so set that about halfway and you'll stick the guide rod through the ball and race like so and you'll slowly slide it up and what you want is you want to use as much of that stone as you can uh, that way you get the full cutting surface of the four inch stone and then also that way your diamond stones wear more evenly but also you don't want it to go in too far to where you uh, ride up onto that side of that knife so you'll slowly push it in like so and you'll just kind of check from heel to tip to make sure that you are good and right about there is where I'm going to leave it for this knife so now that that's done you take your stop collar itself and you'll want to slide it up to butt up with that o-ring and you'll want to lock it down the reason for using the stop collar is that this secures that position and locks it down that way it doesn't move if you were just using an o-ring you put a little too much pressure uh, uh, sliding the uh, guide rod through the ball and race and you would move it so it wouldn't really work that's what that's for but now that you got it set up and you got everything locked down when you're sharpening the uh, stop collar and the o-ring will butt up against the ball and race preventing you from going any further in through that uh, ball and race than what that stop collar is set up at so that way that, as you can see, it's buttoned up against that. It's not letting me go any further. That way that I cannot slide up onto the side of that blade. I have another knife here that uh, I already have set up, clamped up. And I'm going to show you the same process. Now that we got this other knife set up, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the same process with setting the stop collar up um, for this one as well. So, of course, you want to make sure that your stop collar is loose, which it is. And you'll slide that o-ring back up you know about midways or so you'll stick the guide rod through the ball and race just like we did on the last one and slowly slide it up through just like so and you'll want to check from heel to tip going just a little bit further and that looks about good so you'll take your stop collar butt it up next to that o-ring and you'll lock it down snug it up and now you're set up and ready to go that way if you're sharpening there's no way that you can slide up onto the side of that knife and scratch it up i uh, hope this was helpful for you guys and uh, if you have any questions just let me know but uh, otherwise hope you guys have a nice day see ya